when I was three or four years old, my brother had enlisted in the Air Force for a couple of years, and my father took me out to the guard base. I remember uh, my brother and a bunch of other guys were sitting up on top of this big yellow box trailer thing up high, probably a generator, but um, I don't know what it was for sure, but probably that's what it was, by the edge of the field there. And they were sitting up there. They had a better view up there. And, um, and I wanted to get up there because my brother was up there. So my dad handed me up to my brother. And I actually sat up there for a second or two. But I really didn't I really didn't want to be up there after I got up there, I remember. So I came back down. and But I was, I was totally fascinated with the Jets. That's That was it for me. Was, man, that was so cool. And I, we had to leave for whatever reason. I remember we went out the gate. We went through the guard booth area and past the apartments. And I remember just gawking up in the sky. And my dad was like getting a kick out of how impressed I was about it. And I asked him, I said, are they scratching the sky? Because they were laying down smoke plumes. I said, are they scratching the sky? And he laughed. He's no, they're not scratching the sky. But I remember he got a kick out of that. And um, I was just having memories of the car, but anyway. <laughs> but um, and so he said they sure do get small when they're up there, don't they? So now, as a child, okay, literally, I'm looking up there, and I'm like, he's telling me they get small when they're up there. I mean. In, in my awe and wonder of this whole thing, I'm like, wow, like really cool toys. Right? Seriously. So I said, <laughs> can I have one? And he laughed. He said, no, son, no, you can't have one. I remember so well him getting a kick out of that. I do remember that very well. But anyway, I couldn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have one, he said. So, okay, so, um, anyway. But I remember looking up at the sky that day. Not that day, but other days, too. Every, every day when the sky was clear, I used to look at it in awe. I used to love to lay in the grass and the clover and back in my folks' house, seriously, when I was three or four years old, before I ever went to school. I would lay down and I would look up at all this, the sky and watch the clouds go by. And I, could, I could pass a half an hour easily doing something like that when I was a kid. I mean, it's better than television. So, you know, I mean, but I remember looking off in the distance, and this is my point before I get too long here. And everything looked curved. It looked just like, you know, I couldn't quite tell where it ended. And I used to always be curious about that. And then I went to school <laughs> in kindergarten. By the time I was in fifth grade, or fifth grade, by the time, yeah, kindergarten and fifth grade. By the time I was five, I was in kindergarten. And there, that was the first time that I recall ever seeing a glow. And um, I, I can't remember it. Mrs. Gregory, that was my kindergarten teacher, and I remember what she looked like to this day. Um, or Mrs. Plotz, her helper, um, who I also remember very well to this day. I don't remember which one was showing us, but they were talking about this is our world. And I'm like... Well, that's weird. The sky's on the outside. Like, that's water, though. That's water, they're saying. That's oceans, water. Didn't make sense to me at all, you know? And um, because it, it just didn't compute. And, you know, I, I had forgotten about the way that I used to look at the sky. 
because it had been so long ago that I thought about it like that, you know? The logic. Once I got to school, they told me why it looked like that. They told me whatever they had to tell me that made me not think about the idea that it was, you know, curved. I mean, why would it be curved, right? So I didn't see the curve after that. And I strained really hard to see the curve. I want to see the curve again, you know. I do. I want to see the curve again. And, um, I want to have that kind of wonder because the logic that we were taught and told, well, now we know, right? We know, right? So now we don't have to wonder anymore. I was thinking about that, how amazing a wonder is. And unless we become like children, we cannot see the kingdom of God, it says that in the Bible. Think about that. We got to become like children. Because we really see that way. Maybe. I don't know. Just some thoughts I was having. Innocence is important to be able to see with eyes like that. I still do in a lot of ways. And I, I'm pretty sure that eventually I will be able to see the curve again. I'm going to keep looking anyway. So, that's sort of what I wanted to say. <laughs>